Hey everyone, so let's go through the next two cage positions um, in the A chord sound, right? So we started out with the E, and then we did the D, and then we came and finished off, I believe, with the C position of the A chord, right? So this is down here, we'll play it down here. And then our roots are here and here. These are the A notes. So here's our C chord. C, C shape chord, but it's an A sound, right? A major sound. And we can do a bunch of different scales out of this position. Uh, first, actually, let me just touch on the chord itself. So this is a little bulky. It's okay. You can shorten the bar. You can drop this, uh, take this one off. to a seventh chord just by the you know classic up here you do it right so just do it down here um, and then as far as the actual scales we have our major pentatonic which would be uh, what is that? right and then play the chord so that's a major sounding, it's major pentatonic, just the five notes. And then you know, then you find your minor pentatonic, which is... And you can play the chord again. Probably drop the third on it, but um, it sounds okay. But, you know, again, your sevenths and your minors are going to sound better. Uh, again, some uh, minor pentatonic scale. Um, and the most important is to start developing that major scale that we started earlier, right? So we're, what's the major scale options here would be that C form. Again, C form, even though it's the A major scale, remember, this is A. within that, you know, kind of arpeggiate it. We'll get to arpeggios um, a little bit later, which is where you're basically picking out the various chords within the scale. So from here, though, we can also um, extend it down further, which would take us to the A, oops, A, cage position here of the A uh, scale A chord and you can play right there's some hybrid picking we'll get to but for now however you want to play it and I'm playing just the here's the third here's just the power chord the one the five Right, I'm just doing, you see that? Yeah. The uh, major pentatonic. Right. So that major pentatonic shape um, should be familiar. It's the one to the left of the typical blues box. Right, of the minor pentatonic uh, box, right? So, oops. and then the major scale here is going to be, um, right, just maybe half of it. vertical or, 
I was getting a little tight down here, but um, that's the three notes per, right? So that's taking us all the way down into the next cage position, which is going to be uh, the G, the G section, which we'll save for the next one. But this gives us a nice A position, and then we can kind of combine them. Uh, coming back to our C, right? So. So what I'm trying to focus on here are the two cage positions, the major scales together. So this is this is the C part, the bottom part of the C. Oops. And this is our A position, or A major, our A major, in actually in the A position, right? So. This is that bottom part of the major scale that we were just working with. So I'm just focusing on the bottom two sections and I'm mixing, bringing them together, right? So this, right? So it's, that's the A chord in this C position. And then down here we did, Again, right? So as we get more comfortable with it, and it's an ongoing process, so I'm just thinking about those two major scales and integrating them together. And this is a sort of that sort of little movement back and forth is something that you would normally not necessarily get that sound from just focusing on uh, certainly not minor pentatonic. And if you're really good with the major pentatonic, so you can obviously start uh, doing that. But again, we're hitting all the notes in the major scale. So we have access to, you know, more interesting sounds and some more uh, more melodies that we can just pick off with our with our ear. So um let's work on those two start start over and just keep working on the scales the major scale positions from the from that first position of e to the d to the c to the a and uh we'll pick it up next time um thanks so much for watching and i'll see you again soon